Beware of 2084. From each according to his ability, to each according to his need. Milton Friedman Well, we are taught early on that we can do anything from starting a civilization on Mars to ending world hunger. We, in this context of course, mean society or if you like money. Our need as people has always been the struggle for status. The need to represent something bigger and to ignore technical and human limits. The universe is huge, our galaxy is big, but how small are we? We are the millions and billions of people caught in our time, desperately searching to fulfill a meaning. That's how society, or shall we say, how money wins the war over our needs. Human nature is not in need of violence, but it's a good distraction from the most terrifying question in life. Why am I? Or am I at all? Knowledge is power. Google. Thoughts have the power of life. For it is thinking that makes you realize your own existence. Written thoughts have the power to transform a lived life into history. We only know for sure what we experience on our own. Everything else needs to be transformed by another human mind. Therefore, we must doubt all we seem to know till we find a way to experience it with our own senses. And even then, we can't be sure we gain knowledge because it's not absolute. Knowing things is always subjective because our human mind has limits. We are not able to grasp the universe in full. Still, by questioning the world, we maybe can gain wisdom. And wisdom might be useful in the war that is about to come. I have a dream, Martin Luther King. While sleeping, I've had lots of dreams, colorful ones, scary ones, 
heroic ones. They had one thing in common, that they had nothing in common with reality, but a lot more to do with the truth. I often wander the streets, watching people, imagining their dreams. And by doing so, I realize how far we have drifted away from our natural dream, like communicating things that matter. We can also call it a vision, a vision of no small talk and no etiquette, a vision of feeling and healing, and living and loving, where this vision has no basis in reality. I have accepted this now. There is no way to express the deeper feelings within a person today. For everything gets commercialized and destroyed. I'm giving up on my dream. Life how it is, is senseless. And I have no idea how to escape this despair. A first sign of the beginning of understanding is the wish to die. Franz Kafka I've thought about dying a lot. Sometimes it has brought me to the end of my tether. Sometimes it was a comforting thought of a way to escape. Sometimes with knees tucked up to my breast, shaking and crying alone in my bed. Sometimes on the outside, laughing in the crowd among my closest loved ones. I've got mixed feelings towards death. That may be because I'm still not sure about my attitude towards life. But how could I ever identify with this life? It's full of hatred and disgust, full of envy and fear. Things that I can find within my true self. Maybe that's why I sympathize with death. It has been with me all the time, all my days, watching and waiting, like a friend taking me to another playground. I feel I can rely on death, and that gives me an absurd feeling of security. Well, that's what I think on the good days. We are the dead. Our only true life is in the future. George Orwell With every word, I emphasize my own mortality and the mortality of this society. Because while the world is changing, These words will not, and by tomorrow, this speech will be a relic of the past. But the future will happen without us ever being consulted, and our free will is just an illusion. Because we are impotent and stranded, unable to find an aim that makes sense. It is society that has stolen our sense in life, for it has destroyed human interaction and natural behavior. Everything is changing, and everything spins in spirals. Cultures are rising and falling, but it all seems to get worse. Because things are the way they are, things will not stay the way they are. Bertolt Brecht I'm so tired of trying to see through all the sunglasses and veils all the barriers that people build around them because they have to be afraid of loving interaction. Judgment is all around. Freedom is a choice that makes you lonely and penniless. Understanding has become a weakness. Love has become a fairy tale. The truth we are living in is cold, lonely and deep and it gets worse. There is no hope for anything better. The future is endless darkness. Maybe this world is another planet's hell. Eldon's Huxley Sometimes, when I wake from a dream and realize who I am, with a voice inside my head screaming in unbearable suffering, and I realize that reality has already become hell, I feel guilty. The undeniable truth is that all my living is based on death and the torture of others. I can't stand it. At the same time, I am beside myself full of anger because of all those who have built this system. The big enemies, the big brothers, industry, politics, 
and above everything else the banks, including the whole financial sector. They have control of the most important value in today's life. Money. Nothing strengthens authority as much as silence. Charles de Gaulle. Even though I'm talking a lot, I feel so quiet all the time. Because there are no words to express the sorrow and there are no listeners who feel the same. I stand alone, watching till the end. Is it possible? Maybe this generation is the last that can change something? We don't have a lot of time. We don't have time to waste. I know for sure I can't go on living like this anymore. I can't support the things that destroy my whole existence by remaining silent. I have to fight and I have to find camarades in arms. Tyranny naturally arises out of democracy. Plato. Nowadays, tyrants come in all shapes and sizes, in all colors. Some of them are not remarkable at all. Some of them show off what they have got. Money earned with the blood, sweat and tears of others. Nice watches and suits, but no interest in anyone else's business except their own. Growing their wealth That's the biggest goal. But gambling with destiny is also a nice little amusement. The wagger is the sanity of whole countries and their citizens. This inhuman behavior is still widely tolerated and it seems to be the people's will to surrender to the despotism of others. An idea that is not dangerous is unworthy of being called an idea at all. Oscar Wilde. What if I told you that I've got two visions about the future and that it's you and me who can make the change? What would you plan to do? We must not give up on men. We have to make others understand and stand up. We need a new spirit, a spirit of resistance and intervention. It might seem dangerous and even utopic, but what other options do we have if we don't want to give way to this pair? There is no intelligence where there is no need of change. H.G. Wells. Don't you see how they try to keep us stupid? Haven't you noticed how senseless and imbecile children TV shows have become? Keeping the people small and dull is harder than ever, for knowledge is easier to get. Still somehow they manage to separate people from the idea of using their knowledge in order to create a new form of society. To be or not to be, that is the question. William Shakespeare. So, this is the very moment when you have to decide if you are happy the way things are or if you are ready to work for a change. Now is the time to decide whether you are part of the system that will for sure destroy planet Earth and all living beings or whether you choose the other side and fight If a free society cannot help the many poor, it cannot save the few who are rich. John F. Kennedy. Maybe you think that there is no need for change. Maybe you hope for the status quo. Maybe you don't care for things you can't see. In this case, I can assure you this will be important for everyone and no one will escape this conflict. And those that feel secure now will fall. 
you have to make a decision. And if you find the strength, I beg you to speak up loudly. I made all my generals out of mud. Napoleon Bonaparte. So stand up, all you who feel rejected from this society. All of you that feel weak in between all these structures of power. All of you that have lost their human dignity to the struggle for money and survival. All of you that think low of yourselves because of some pictures that has infected you. All of you, stop bashing yourself. You are human beings and therefore equal to everyone else. Your financial situation doesn't define your worth. It's your actions that matter because they have influence on history while property will be forgotten. Before all else, be armed. Niccolo Machiavelli. What would our arms be? Guns, pitchforks or canes? How can we break down these destroyers? The upheaval will be inconspicuous for I intended to be a revolution of educated minds ready to fight in the fields of elocution. It's our generation's duty to get the people thinking and talking, gunning the rulers of the old world down with words. If we must die, we die defending our rights. Sitting Bull. Death will come. That's the one thing that is certain in life. So on the path to death, why don't we use our strength to gain as much freedom as possible? To gain independence and a natural environment where people can live peacefully together without the permanent pressure of having to achieve. And why does this most natural way of existence sounds so absurd nowadays. When I look into the future, it's so bright, it burns my eyes. Oh, Pro Winfrey. Sometimes the future scares me. A bright flash bringing our days on Earth to an end. But I can see more of the future than this nightmare. I can see that people understand. I can see them fill their lives with light and love. I can see them recognizing that they are just one part of the circle of life. This vision comforts me even though I don't know if there is any chance for it to become true. For sure, it's my biggest wish, however the planet's problems are based on the fact that people have forgotten their role. Their role is similar to the one of every plant and animal. Live, die, revive. There is nothing to fear about that. The flow of the soul is similar to the one of the atoms and molecules. It is just evolving to another form of existence. Not all of us can do great things, but we can do small things with great love. Mutter Teresa. Be aware of that we are all one and that everyone belongs to the spirit of the universe's soul. We have to change our behavior towards each other and towards nature. On this little planet, the spirit has found a way to create a surrounding where it can experience life in many individual and more or less conscious ways. Isn't it our duty to share love, happiness and goods with our brothers and sisters all over the world? For in the end, it is us who are getting it all back. If one of us has no food, no laughter, no love, Everyone is starving. This starving of other is what creates the fear of death because it makes us doubt our unity. I know that life is a doorway to eternity and yet my heart so often gets lost in 
pretty entities. It forgets the great way home that lies before it. Sophie Scholl. It's not easy to stay confident with spiritual beliefs. There are so many things that make you question them. And it is good that way. It's our duty to question things, to talk about them, to think them over. These doubts are one main part in our human existence. No one is free of them, and we are all united in our naivety. So why do we make war over entanglements? Death comes early enough to discover it. Why not celebrate life before? Why not hold each other's hands and be one? Why not have a moment of silence in all this mess and take a deep breath and thought? Nothing in life is to be feared. It is only to be understood. Marie Curie